welcome fast street bike fans. You gotta love a turbo Suzuki Hayabusa burnout. Welcome to Maryland International Raceway. Welcome to complete round by round coverage of the quickest street bikes in the world. It is DME Real Street. We're gonna have a ton of fun. Stay with us in this video. We will go all the way till the end till we crown a champion. We'll look at an unfortunate crash of Ralphie Navarro in qualifying and some incredibly fast motorcycles. There are dozens of combinations legal in this category. We begin. Wanted to let you enjoy that burnout. We begin with this man, Annabelle the Cannibal Merced. It is a nitrous Kawasaki ZX14. He gets set to pose Devin Raglan. This is final qualifying from Bud's Creek, Maryland. We're about an hour south of Washington, D.C., a hotbed for motorcycle drag racing. This is Real Street. Oh, nice whole shot by Annabel the Cannibal. Keep an eye on that scoreboard, top end. Annabelle 792, oh, course light side getting there, Raglan up at a 786. That brings up our next pair. Guys, as you can see, the wheelbase is different for each combination. That changes based on your power adder, your motorcycle, the rider's weight. This is Ashley Cotnoir, near lane. She is a female, it's her first ever real street race. Let's see what she can do. Oh man, Ashley on a pass. That's an all-motor GSX-R1000. No nitrous, no turbo. Ladies and gentlemen, 770! That is the quickest all-motor run in real street history. The first female in the sevens. Congratulations, Ashley Cottonwar. Unbelievable. In her first race. And here comes her fiance who is the former record holder with an all-motor combination at a 774. He just watched his fiance take him out. Here's a perfect example too. You see how the wheelbase is a little longer near lane? That's because Mike Sweeney Jr. is an all-motor bike as opposed to Richard Gadsden's nitrous GSX-R1000 far lane. So Gadsden takes the power adder and takes a little less wheelbase race organizers and promoters maintain parity through wheelbase. Let's watch, guys. Oh, man, nice hole shot. Sweeney trying to fight that wheelie. That long swing arm certainly helping. What can he do? Top end. Sweeney, oh, 810 Richard Gadsden, 778. Score one for the nitrous contingent. I want to know in the comments right now, what would you build? All motor, nitrous, or turbo? Now keep in mind there's wheelbase factors that play into that. Let's watch now as a former nitrous competitor turned turbo competitor, Jason Heron. Oh, Heron with a big wheelie. Heron has been up and coming. He loves his turbo bike alongside Jamie Loeb's. Top end of the racetrack, wheelie won't hurt, an 807 to an 824 really been a battle of the GSX-R1000, the ZX-14, and the Suzuki Hayabusa in this category. Here is Brandon Teasley, left-hand lane. Alongside Evan Melson. Oh, big wheelie for the GSX-R. Brandon Teasley, brother of Jeremy Teasley. We got three Teasleys in competition. Hey, 776 for the big man. Congratulations, Brandon. That brings up one of our final pairs and what would end up being a very scary incident. There is your defending Man Cup champion, Spencer Claycomb. Unfortunately suffered a crash earlier this year in Valdosta, Georgia at the top end. Was able to rebuild the bike, did not sustain any big injuries. Alongside him, Ralphie Navarro, a newcomer to the category. Keep your eye on the left-hand lane. Ralphie goes airborne, loops the bike out. Let's hope Ralphie is okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That Suzuki Hayabusa took flight. Launched into the air. Ralphie was unable to grab a clutch. Grabbed onto the throttle. Let's take a look in slow motion. This one is 
scary, jaw-dropping, and unbelievable. That Hayabusa takes off and takes flight. Thank God it did not hit him on the way down. It was very close. My goodness, an incredibly scary incident. It happened in a blink of an eye. When you're dealing with a ton of horsepower and no wheelie bar, sometimes that can happen. And give credit where credit is due. Ralphie did his best. He's a newcomer to the sport. Some people online uh, decided to malign Ralphie on all the things he should have done. Hey, guys, we can all Monday morning quarterback easier said than done when it happens in the blink of an eye. I'm sure Ralphie, if given the second chance, would have wanted to grab a clutch or button out the bike. But, guys, sometimes if you're a motorcycle rider, you know those things happen so fast. Here's the best news. Ralphie's on the mend, doing much better. We want to thank everybody for all the support and all the prayers. We really want to thank our official chaplain, Dean Klutz, who, along with CycleDrag.com, got a prayer chain going for Ralphie Navarro when he was on his way to the hospital. Ralphie broke his elbow, broke his knee. It was incredibly painful for him. And Ralphie's a heck of a guy, a nice guy, a guy who does a lot for the sport, owns Platinum Fleet Repair, sponsors the sport, a great competitor. So we want to wish him all the best. We hate to see this out here. It really dampens uh, what was a great weekend so far. But again, we just, at this point, everybody had a knot in their stomach hoping the best for Ralph. Mr. Dean Klutz, the official chaplain here for MDIR. So glad you're here in instances like this. And we want to send some thoughts and prayers out to that rider, don't we? Yeah, we do. Let's, let's take a second and pray for Ralph. Heavenly Father, we ask you to protect this man. We ask you to, um, for, to give him a good transport to the hospital. And once he's there, get the doctors, guide their hands, and, and allow them to be the, the healers that you demand they be. We ask these things in your precious name. Amen. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate well, that. Yeah. And the, the best news is you saw him. He was alert and talking, yep. right? He looked good. He was talking. He knew some uh, important questions. And I think he's going to be fine. Excellent. Thank you for being here. All right. Thanks, Jack. Well, I want to thank Dean, and I'm really happy that we were able to do that because, guys, I'm happy to report that Ralphie is on the mend. He's already rebuilding his motorcycle. There's also a video dedicated to that entire incident on the Cycle Drag YouTube page as we now bring up Brad Stinnett, Farlane, and Luis Hernando will finish qualifying, and then we will get into eliminations. Don't go anywhere. We'll figure out who's going to win this race. Side by side we go. Seven second pass to net, seven, nine, two. Alongside Hernando. Here comes one of the most talked about bikes in the category. This is the man known as the GOAT. You see the license plate. And yes, you do have to run a license plate on these bikes. There's Marcus Hilton out of DME. Jeremy Teasley, he's your overall record holder. An unbelievable 762, guys. No wheelie bar, street tire, 762. How amazing is that? Let's see what Teasley can do here in final qualifying. Nice, clean, smooth launch for Teasley. He's known as one of the smoothest in the game. 766, 189. Woo, Teasley flying. Mr. Crow, Crow, how about a 766? That thing just keeps getting quicker. Yeah, it's all right for 1,000. <laughs> 190, did you see that? That's amazing, man. Feel like you're proving 1,000 is the way to go in this class? I don't know about all that. Good luck. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to race day. I'm going to throw up a card right now. Check it out. And please, without forwarding ahead, state your opinion. What make will win this race? The always exciting DME Real Street category. It's a beautiful Sunday here at Maryland International Raceway, Mechanicsville, Maryland. We're right next to the famous Bud's Creek motocross track. And look at this turnout. The fans are ready to go. Very cool. You guys having a good time? Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Here with a man who continues to improve in real street, Mr. Spencer Claycomb. Yes, Spencer, sir. first off, yesterday you were in the other lane when Ralphie went down. Very scary. What'd you see? I actually, well, I'm for bracket race index racing. You always leave, check on your guy. That's what you always do. And I left, and I looked, and I saw a wheelie in. I looked again, and next thing I saw, he was higher than what I was looking over. And that's the first time I ever had someone crash next to me, and it. I didn't know what to do at first. I almost missed my shift. <laughs> I was looking over, but um, come back and luckily he was okay. But it was 
It, uh, it definitely was. It looked like it hurt. Yeah, thank God he's okay, and that had to bring back some bad memories for you. Oh, you went yeah. down earlier this year. Everything yeah. okay with you? You healed up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, about 90%. I'm, I'm there. Excellent. Yeah. Well, good luck today. Keep her on two wheel. Yes, sir. All right, we are here with Ashley Cottonor. Congratulations, Ashley. Got to shake yeah. your hand. A brand new all motor record yeah. 770 with a six. You told me last year you were going to give this class a try. That's more than giving it a try. Your your fiance over here, hardworking guy. Good to see you. you too. Last year I was talking about your record. Well, she sneaks in here and takes the record from you. How about that? Lying. Yeah. That's hey, what it is. I'm very proud of her. Ashley, how'd you do it so quickly? Um, just hungry. We missed the first two races, so we wanted to come out swinging this this race, and that's what we did. Can't thank Scott from SRW enough, and aunt behind the computer, uh, my father-in-law in clutch, my uh, fiance set up the whole bike, chassis and everything, could have done it without them. Wow. Now, I know that in this class, we see so many different power adders. What's unique about this bike, it is an SRW All Motor 1000. Scott must have been doing his homework up there at yeah. SRW, <laughs> isn't he? Yep, Scott's the best out there. Wow, how fast is this thing? I went like uh, 176. Oh my gosh, what's it feel like? Like rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> now, give me your background in terms of your drag bike experience, because I know you don't have a ton of laps, right? Um, No, this is actually... I've, this level. Yeah, this level is my first time. Uh, last year I raced Top Sportsman on a stock motor Busa. And then uh, we picked this up and I said, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try and you set a new record. How yeah. great is that? Feels awesome. Oh my gosh. Are you, are you sure you want to unleash Fiance? You know what you've done now. You've hooked her for life All and right. uh, now you have to race against her. Second round, if we both get by first round, we got to race each other. Wow, man. So, what do you think it was about this bike that was able to dip it down into the record zone so quickly? Power to weight. Okay. Power Tell me a little weight. bit. I know that a lot of people prefer the Hayabusa. You guys are sticking with the 1000 platform. What are the advantages of the GSXR 1000? It's just a lot lighter. I mean, I think this bike scales in with her on it at 495. Oh my gosh. Fully suited. And I'm, I'm, 535. 535. Okay, well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. I know it's not polite to okay. <laughs> ever ask a woman about her weight, but you are very petite, which yeah. helps in drag racing. How much do you weigh? Like uh, 112, 113. 112. And what's how's that compared to your weight? Uh, I weighed in 155. Wow. So big weight advantage over yeah. here. And clearly you've got the skills. So what's, what's the goal now? What's next? 60s. 60s. What's more important today, winning this race or running the big numbers? Both. She wants it. You got a competitive fiance there, don't you? <laughs> I knew she, uh, you know, by building this, I knew we would definitely get her hungry. So. When's the wedding? Uh, October 19th. This year. Ah, okay, so it's a big year for you. We got yeah. a wedding and. Hey, old man. Old man. We got to get him in here. No. <laughs> now, what can you say about the help that Scott has given you at SRW? He's family. He's everything I need. And he, everything I don't, he's there no matter what. And, and the fact that you guys decide to stick with an all-motor combination, why that instead of the power adders? <clears throat> it was a dream of, of mine and Scott's, my dad's. We wanted to go out there and be the underdog and take on everybody. Sure. They all said it couldn't be done. They said we couldn't even go sevens, and we surpassed all that. How about that? Let's give them a look at this beautiful machine once again. So brand new for this year, right? Brand new. Wow. It's the first time I shook it down for the first pass. I shut it down about 700 foot. It went 807 and 133. Oh my gosh. So for anybody watching this video that may be new to drag racing, could you just please rattle off the modifications from a stock GSX-R1000? Uh, of course, BSD wheels. Uh, of course, SRW motor. It's got a very big motor in it. How big's um, the motor? Undisclosed. Undisclosed, okay. Stroker crank, I imagine. Probably. Undisclosed. <laughs> okay. Um, what else we got? Brock's tie winder. We got a Brock Davidson tie winder. Fantastic exhaust system. DME swing arm, of course. Let's check out the DME swing arm. How, what's the wheelbase on this bike? 71 inch. How about that? We, uh, of course, my Montgomery uh, carbon on it. Montgomery. Uh, basically everything. I mean, I could go through everything, but all the sponsors that we have are 
all gear, of course SRW, ARB tuning, one stop speed. It's got a full highway standalone fuel system. Um, Manchester Mines did a lot of the, all the wiring on the bike. Wow. Rox AP, CP, Gorilla, Penske of course. It's a beautiful machine, I love it. As we close this thing, let me get a shot of you guys together. Can I get a shot of the, the soon to be newlyweds here? Do we got anything fun planned for the wedding? Any burnouts or anything at the, the bike, reception? The bike's gonna be there. No way. Oh, yeah. At the reception or in the church? Both. Both. Oh, <laughs> that's my kind of wedding. Well, guys, good luck. Hey, future, are we gonna see you guys maybe on pro street bikes someday? I think maybe next year we're gonna dabble in something. Maybe I will. Excellent. It's just very expensive, so we gotta we can get some backing for next year. We'll keep it safe, and we'll be watching you today to see if you can better that time. You think you got a chance to better it? Definitely. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, here with Real Street Racer Alicia Malone. Yeah, That's her husband's winter. bike. Alicia, give us an update. What's going on with you? Uh, my motor is down right yeah, now. Um, it broke at the first race. It's getting rebuilt, something a little bigger. So I'll be out next race in July at Bike Fest. What do you think about Ashley going 770? The girls are tough in this class, aren't they? They are very tough. She's a great competitive racer. I knew she could do it. I'm very happy for her. Um, and I can't wait to get out there and join the fun again. But the class has a lot of fun, and I, I just can't wait. Seven's next for you? Yes, absolutely. Good luck. Can't Thank wait to see you. it. Round one, big shout out sportsman. The least has problems. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are set for opening round of eliminations. Who you got? I hope you enjoy all this inside info. We'll try to describe this class the best that we can. 460 was on the racetrack right now. They were laying down some, some nice rubber for the upcoming real street category. Lots of track prep, as always, everything these radial tires need to stick to the racing surface. We will also put some of the rules in the matrix down below for you to help understand. Remember, it's just basic physics. Rider's weight is going to equal ET. So just to give you an example for a nitrous big bore and turbo leader combination, if you're under 120 pounds of body weight, first let's watch this Pro Street B category. Pro Street B getting fired up. For instance, guys, if you're under 120 pounds body weight, you can be 62 inches. If you're over 250, you can go all the way up to 73 inches. That's one of the ways that they maintain parity. Here we go. First round of eliminations from the XDA Superbike Showdown. This is the DME Real Street Class. We begin with Spencer Claycomb, near lane. Luis Hernando, far lane. Spencer first off the line, the Hayabusa, will it be enough? Luis giving chase, lifting that front wheel. Top end of the racetrack, the Suzuki Hayabusa gets there first, 811, 189, or excuse me, 182, takes out an 819. Here comes one of the most accomplished racers today, the Nitrous GSXR 1000 of Richard Gadsden. He gets set to oppose Marcus Hilton, left-hand lane. Oh, Hilton red lights by a mere two thousandths. Oh, and he's going to be sick because, look, Gadsden was vulnerable. But that's what... Oh, and he goes to 773. <laughs> well, when you've built a reputation like Richard Gadsden, you deserve a few of those. Hilton knew he had to push the tree. Let's bring up the next pair. Here comes Jason Heron out of Lexington, South Carolina. Talented turbo racer now, former nitrous racer. Really making a step up against Animal the Cannibal. Look at the different launch position. Animal the Cannibal on the nitrous ZX-14. Will it be the nitrous bike, the turbo bike, top end? Nitrous Kawasaki. 777 182. Now the battle of the white boosters. Brad Stinnett out of Lexington, Kentucky gets set to take on Brandon Teasley. Teasley out there, far lane. Better whole shot going to Brandon Teasley. Will it be enough? Teasley checking out. Top end of the racetrack. Oh, give it to the right lane. 787. Brad Stinnett. Teasley had problems. 
here comes the young lady. The young lady we talked to pre lace the new record holder, Ashley Cotton Noir, your number three qualifier, alongside Jamie Lopes and the Kawasaki CX-14 Nitrous Bike. Look at the difference in wheelbase. All motor versus nitrous. Oh, Ashley on another pass. She set the record at 770. What can she do in opening eliminations? Boom! Another 770. Ashley running like a bracket bike. You could enter her in Pro ET. Woo! 770. Unbelievable. That's actually her quickest ever. She was 770 with a six in qualifying. That was a 770 with a four. We'll see if Fiance can meet her in the next round alongside Cameron Teasley. Another great whole shot. Sweeney up and down. Problems for Teasley. Sweeney's going to take a free pass. Far in 820, 166. Problems out there for Teasley. That means next round, don't go anywhere. It's going to be a battle of fiancés. Woo! Jeremy Teasley alongside Evan Melson. Let's see what the record holder can do. Teasley was a 766 yesterday. Holds the record at a 62. Top end of the racetrack. Jeremy Teasley, 765. 765. Guys, share this with a street bike fan. If you know somebody that has a GSXR 1000, share this video with them, please. And say, look at how quick this street legal GSXR 1000 is. Wow. Unbeatable. Unbelievable. Last pair of the round. Devin Ragland coming up. Ooh. Devin gets the broke by because Ralphie Navarro could not make the call. So sometimes luck will get you in the next round. Hey, time to get something to eat. It looks like you've got a very important job, huh? You know, gotta keep them fed, gotta keep them fed. Nice work. Thank you, thank you. Keep them fed and get ready for round two. Yum, yum, yum. That looks good. Big turnout of street bikers. If you ever get a chance to ride into an XDA race, Maryland International Raceway, do it. It's a lot of fun. I've ridden my Suzuki Hayabusa down there. Always a good place to hang out. Beautiful day, hot racing on the track. What's up, Fabian? Let's see if Fabian will give us a shout out. Oh yeah, thanks Fabian, giving us a shout out. Appreciate it. It's a beautiful day here at Maryland International Raceway. We're set for round two. We got eight top-notch racers coming back. There's Drag Racing's version of the Zamboni. The track they're gonna do a little drag, a little spray. Fiancés set the battle. Uh-oh, we're gonna hold him up for one second. Now imagine how strange this must be for Mike. He gets his fiance involved, and all of a sudden, first race out, she takes his record, she has to race her, and she gets lane choice. A little bit about the background of Ashley. She was a competitive motocross racer, and as you can tell, she's all business on the track. There's no lovey-dovey, emotional, let my fiance win one here. It is all about winning. Ashley and her fiance Mike ready to do battle out of Terryville, Connecticut. Too fast, all motor SRW GSXR 1000. Whole shot, Mike. Will it be enough? Mike fighting the wheelie. Look at the difference in the leave. Ashley straight as an arrow. Who's it going to be? Ashley on 772. Merciless puts her fiance on the trailer. Wow, he gave her a ring and she put him on the trailer. What are you going to do? Got to love it. I think we're going to see plenty more matchups with them in years to come. Here comes Spencer Claycomb now and Brad Stinnett. Spencer, Spencer with the nitrous Hayabusa. Brad Stinnett also with the Suzuki Hayabusa. While Spencer drills an 080 reaction time. 
Big head start. Will it be enough? Spencer looking to go into the sevens. Spencer. 780 for the Amish Outlaw at 185 miles an hour. Hannibal Merced, multi-time event winner alongside Devin Raglan. Both of these motorcycles capable of running 760s. Should be a great matchup on paper. This one could come down to a whole shot. Let's see who can pull out the win. Annabelle, the master on the tree, the big man, alongside Devin. Oh, Annabelle with a starting line advantage. Devin with a better 60 foot, but Annabelle treat him. Top end, will it be enough? Annabelle on a whole shot. 770 beats a quicker 767. Ladies and gentlemen, that is due to the starting line advantage. Remember, your time does not start until you break the beams. Therefore, a better reaction time will actually beat a quicker ET. Annabelle wins on a whole shot. Jeremy Teasley, Richard Gadsden, great matchup. Let's watch. Oh man, Gadsden looking for a big upset. Teasley, your number one qualifier. Ben in the 760s. Great drag race. Oh, side by side. Teasley wins it 771 to a 774. Gadsden finds a great run, but the downfall for Richard Gadsden is he was not qualified well. That's why qualifying is so important. You don't want to have to face Jeremy Teasley in round two. We're set for a big round three. Some of you may be asking, what is the difference between a real street bike and a pro street bike? Remember, these real street bikes must use hand clutches and no modifications are allowed to the stock frame because the pro street bikes, which are all out, are a little quicker, as you know. Ashley, you're running like a bracket bike and you just put your fiance on the trailer. Yep. Does that hurt at all? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you want this win, huh? Well, good for you. Any, any learning curve or anything you're struggling with, it looks like you're just taking right to it. Just taking one pass at a time. Good luck here. Thank you. She's fierce. Spencer, you gotta love the diversity in real street, the gender diversity, the size diversity. Oh yeah. You're taking on a female about half your size. Yeah, she's also really, really fast. <laughs> she's, a, she's running like a bracket bike out there, uh -huh. man. What's yeah, the motor bikes are hard to beat. What's the strategy? Grab that button and pray. <laughs> Dad put a good tune up in it for you? Oh yeah. Always. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Again, folks, thank you again. Thank you. Here's the GOAT. Quickest real street bike out there. Hey, check it out, guys. We got a license plate for all you guys out there saying, hey, those aren't real street bikes. Those are real street bikes. That's what's crazy about how fast they are. Learning the secret. Here we run it. Ten and a half. How you guys liking that new tire? Good. Like I said, so far, we're really impressed with it. Like I said, we'll see how it does on the get through this round, get in the finals. Well, it's got to be a good feeling to get some new rubber on that thing. I know those, those P1s are getting old. Yes, they are. Like I said, it, uh, the hookup did real well for us, but I think it's the air to go. Now, of course, there's changes. You wouldn't want to run 10 and a half pounds of air on the street, but these are bona fide street bikes. They could make it down the road wherever you need to go, bike week, whatever. Uh, it's it's legit. It's, it's amazing. We are down to our final four, and I'm going to ask you in the cards once again, who will come out victorious? Give me a vote. It's up there on the right-hand side of your screen. Jeremy Teasley, GSXR 1000, Animal Merced, Nitrous ZX14. What a matchup. Two of the best riders in the world. Look at the size difference, too. That's what you got to love about this class. Maintaining parity. Animal the big man. Teasley the flyweight. Let's watch. even off the line we got a drag race the kawasaki and suzuki bar to bar at the eighth bar to bar at a thousand who will it be win like jeremy teasley 763 takes out a 767 another one Woo! the gsxr 1000 is going to the final round 
Father Crow Teasley loves it. Crow, what is going on here, man? I can't keep up. I don't know, boss. <laughs> There you go. Richard, what's going on? I don't know, man. He's on fire right now. There you go. That would bring up our other semifinal matchup. Spencer Claycomb and the Hayabusa with problems. Ashley Cottonoir hoping for a big win. But look, a fuel issue stops Ashley. Ashley would end up damaging a motor. She would technically take the win here, but a heads-up move by the rookie. She knew she couldn't make the next round. She bypassed the scales to get automatically disqualified, giving Spencer an opportunity to race Jeremy Teasley, also giving the fans a side-by-side -side final instead of a bye run. A very cool gesture by Ashley. It's been a long road here, Spencer. How you feeling? Oh, ready to get it over now. This guy just put a 42 on the board in Pro Street. Now you got to wait for him to come back. Does that get into your mind at all? Or oh, no. Just another pass. Don't matter who's over there. There you go. Racing the racetrack, right? Exactly. Any big changes to your Busa? Trying to make it run. <laughs> Change everything. Hope it sticks. Well, you got a tough customer here. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you. Teasley had just went down the racetrack in Pro Street, so Spencer waits patiently for his opportunity here at the final. Teasley's bike's already there. We just need to get Teasley back. Takes a little bit of time. Remember, he's got to park his bike, and by the time you shut down, you're almost a mile from the starting line. A beautiful GSXR 1000. I ask you about that. Ashley bypasses the scales. Get you in the finals. How cool was that of Ashley? Oh, that's, that's the best person in the world right now. That's a pretty heads up move for a rookie, too, huh? Oh, yeah. You're yeah. gonna have to split the purse with her if you pull I it off. Her, I'm giving her everything. Whatever we make, it's hers. How about that? Good luck. Thank you. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we were set for an epic, grandiose mammoth final round. The Nitrous GSXR 1000 against the Nitrous Suzuki Hayabusa. Call your shot who you like. Everybody's talking about the power to weight advantage with the lighter GSXR 1000. We're learning sometimes displacement isn't everything. Check the tire pressure for the go. We're set to go. Final round. Certainly hope you have enjoyed this coverage on CycleDrag.com Facebook and Cycle Drag YouTube channel. We're growing so fast. We appreciate all of your support, all of your subscribes. Love bringing high performance motorcycle racing action to you. Oh, punishing those radial street tires. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's final time. I got goosebumps. The hair on my back of my neck always standing up. I love a final. You never know what's going to happen in drag racing. Well, you're number one and number two qualifiers. Two past champions. Busa 1000. Final. Spencer with a big hole shot. Will it be enough? Teasley out of here. Spencer with problems. How quick can Jeremy Teasley go? Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Teasley. Oh, 790. Teasley may have dodged a bullet. Teasley gets the win. He gets a break that he needed. Congratulations, Jeremy Teasley. Congratulations to our runner-up, Spencer Clayton. That's the Jeremy Teasley show. That was some incredible action. Got lucky. Got time. We've been having, we've been on a bad road. Right. You guys right here. Look. Well, there you go. They're no, flying. Congratulations. That team's got a lot to be proud of after an absolutely epic weekend. Teasley doubles up. He wins Pro Street and Rural Street here at Maryland International Raceway, setting up what should be a thrilling conclusion to the season. Hope you guys have certainly enjoyed this extensive round-by-round -round coverage. Do you like the longer videos? Let me know in the comments. Do you like the longer videos, the shorter videos, your feedback? What do you like? What don't you like? Let's talk to Ashley. All right, great weekend for the soon-to-be-married couple. Ashley, that was such a cool move. You pulled in the final. Let Spencer take your place. Tell me about it. Um, I would do it for any rider, you know? If I can't move on, give somebody else a chance to win the money. Sure. What happened to your motor? Uh, uh, we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to pull it out when we get home and but, give it. Uh, probably, the, probably the head. But all in all, great weekend, huh? Yeah. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. A great weekend and a very auspicious debut for one Ashley Cot Noir. Remember that name. Well, I guess soon the name will be Ashley Sweeney, but uh, she is tough. She's light. She's got the skills. 
she will be tough to reckon with that is for sure guys hope you enjoyed it again this is the dme real street category we'll post some of the rules down below the full matrix can be found online the rule book it's extensive dozens and dozens of different categories are legal we want to thank our hard working crew as we now get set to take down the christmas tree you gotta love this category this is a heads up category they left on a four tenths pro tree all day long good old-fashioned 16 bike field it was a lot of fun to watch I want to say thank you to all the great sponsors who love this sport like we do who help us get out here and hit the road and bring you coverage thank you so much ape webcam trim techs track dynamics orient express pingle liska mps mckinney motorsports timbaland chassis adams performance Dunnigan Racing, Brock's Performance, HTP, RC Components, Vantine Imaging, Carpenter Race Engines, Projack, Laser, Growthish Drag Bikes, US Chrome, Wozner Pistons, GMS, Steve Huff, Advanced Sleeve, Chris Matheson Racing, Man Cup, Macintosh, G Built, Kibble White, SRW. Yes, SRW was important in this one. Congratulations to Scott. M2 Shocks, Marcus McBain, Spevco, Final Swipe, Fuel Tech, and Samson Exhaust. Guys, please, I stress. Thank all of those companies, support those who support your sport. They enable us to travel the world to bring you great coverage on this channel, on this page. I certainly hope you like it. I wanna know also, were you correct in your prediction? Who did you say was gonna win earlier when I asked you in the cards? If you said it was gonna be a Nitrous GSXR 1000, you were correct. And here's the crazy thing with these numbers that we saw, it was hot muggy track temperature was high when things start to cool down in october and we get to maryland international raceway for the battle royale or valdosta for the man cup race what's going to happen what a weekend huh man this weekend has been nothing short spectacular in every way she's been formed from you know the prep between jason miller gene herbert the crew the world records that got set uh, just this weekend alone it's been Everything we've expected and more out of this XDA series. I mean, what more could you ask for? I'm with you. Awesome show. Awesome show and the Iron Tree, XDA's version of the Wally, a cool trophy. So we'll see what happens the rest of the season. We'll see Alicia Malone back out. We'll see a few other competitors. We always appreciate all the competitors running the CycleDrag.com decals. Thank you so much for the love. Those are good decals, by the way, too. Motocross inspired and thank goodness ralphie navarro is on the mend again get well ralphie we hope to see you soon hey guys here's some information for you kids love the cycle drag youtube channel give it a try put little joey or little tracy on their tricycle bicycle and get them in front of some cycle drag youtube and watch it's better better than cartoons we can promise you that kids love it it's a great babysitter for you Check it out, and that's a good way to raise them right. We had a great time from Maryland International Raceway. Beautiful time of the year, beautiful part of the country. Always good seafood down there at Maryland International Raceway. Thanks so much, everybody, for subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube. We're growing rapidly, coming up on 40,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook. We're over 100,000 followers. Let's shoot this thing to the moon. If you love motorcycles like I do, share it with a friend who will appreciate it. And let me know where you're watching from. What state are you watching from? What country are you watching from? And God bless you all. We'll keep it coming.